What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to this series where we talk about possibilities for future great ones in the Hunter Call of the Wild. So far, we have talked about the possibility of a great one lion, a great one wolf, great one Gemsbok, great one bison, great one Bigfoot, and most recently, the great one Cape Buffalo. But today, we're talking all about mule deer. Mule deer are probably one of the most popular requests for a great one. I think it's probably one of the species in the game that people want to see the most. As a great one, I see it a lot of time in the chats, in the streams, and in the comments as well. A lot of people would really, really, really love to see a great one mule deer in the Hunter Call of the Wild. A lot of people in this community hunt mule deer. Mule deer are a vast species in North America, Western North America, spanning across the whole Western side of North America. Pretty vast population here where I live uh, as well in British Columbia, Canada. If you've been following along in this series, you know that I've been talking a lot about the possibility of like EW doing things where they go back and focus on some, some species of animals that went extinct anywhere from 10,000 years ago to 4 million years ago back in like the Pliocene and Pleistocene eras because there are so many subspecies and species of animals that existed back then that don't exist anymore where, you know, a lot of the animals in the game that could be great ones are really descendants of those animals. So we saw them do it with the fallow deer where they gave the tip of the hat to the Irish elk, otherwise known as the Megaloceros, with the fallow deer being the closest living descendants of that species of animal. They kind of did that. So they've already kind of done that in the game, and I would like to see them further do that with a future great ones. So that's kind of what I've been focusing on with this series, getting imaginative, getting creative, and kind of thinking about what we could see for future great ones in the game, especially if they decide to go beyond the base map great ones, Hirschfelden and Leighton Lakes, which I believe they will do in the future. But before we get too deep into this one, you guys, I do want to remind you, I do have a second channel. We are now doing everything that is not hunting and fishing. If it's not a hunting game, if it's not a fishing game, it's over on the second channel. We've got Red Dead Redemption 2, American Truck Simulator, Fortnite, any survival game, any spooky game, all of the driving games, cooking videos are coming. I'm going to be doing more music. All of that stuff is going to be over on the Variety channel. And that is my second channel. It's called Casey on PC. Please do head over there and subscribe. We're closing in on on the first 1,000 subscribers, and I've got high hopes for that channel. So head over there, hit the subscribe button, be one of the first 1,000 subscribers. Right now, over on that channel, we are playing a brand new, exciting survival game, and today, I'm gonna be streaming it, and I'm giving away two copies, two Steam keys of that game in the stream today. Thank you guys so much. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys over there on the second channel, but let's get back into the video. So, mule deer, I was doing some research recently, and I came across this really cool, extinct species of deer that lived all the way going back about four million years years ago until about 1.5 million years ago on the planet, and that is the Euclidoceros. There were a few different species, several different species and subspecies of the Euclidoceros, but in this uh, video specifically, I want to talk about the Euclidoceros dicranius. I actually came across a picture of this while live streaming. I can't remember how it came up. I think what I did was I was, we were talking about future great ones. We were talking about the series and the videos, and I started talking about the mule deer, and I started talking about, I wonder if there was an animal that lived that uh, the mule deer are now now a descendant of possibly that is now extinct that would make for a cool mule deer video a cool mule deer idea for a mule deer great one and I did some googling and I came across this Euclidoceros dicranius and the first thing I thought when I saw a picture of it was definitely mule deer and I showed a picture to the chat and they thought the same thing they thought mule deer uh, right away now of course mule deer are actually a very recent species of uh, deer on the evolutionary timeline they're descendants of black tail and white tail interbreeding so they didn't really have anything to do with the Euclidoceros also the Euclidoceros Euclidoceros would have been found in Europe and Asia back when it lived on the planet, but I still think it would be cool if EW did something to kind of give a tip of the hat, some kind of nod to the Euclidoceros going forward with a future great one. And I think it would be perfectly fine to do that with mule deer. So the Euclidoceros dicranius, otherwise known as the brush antler deer. And you'll know right away why it's referred to as that when you see a picture of this thing's antlers. They are absolutely incredible. And the name Euclidoceros actually means well-branched antler. These things would kind 
kind of camouflage themselves in the wild, their racks would resemble a tree or they could kind of hunker down in a bush and it would look like their antlers were actually part of the bush, part of the like the branches. These deer were not small. These were very big deer and the antlers, the racks on these things spanned up to 1.7 meters wide. So about six feet wide, just really making for an extreme evolutionary novelty. At the top of the skull where the antlers grow, amazing branching results in 12 tines growing out on each side. Before Euclidosaurus came along, deer mostly had much fewer points on their antlers. There weren't a lot of deer that had big, huge uh, antlers. Most of the deer back then had really small antlers. And this was, you know, this was before Megaloceros. This was before a lot of the really big antler deers kind of came along. So this was really the first deer with such complex antlers. Fossils of the Euclidosaurus have been found all over Europe from England to Holland and across Asia as far east as China. So of course, mule deer, as I said, like mule deer do not reside over there. They're a North American deer species, but I still think that it would be, you know, not super far fetched to give some kind of an homage to the Euclidosaurus in the game. I think, uh, you know, roe deer could maybe kind of be a thing, but the thing with the roe deer is they really don't look anything like these Euclidosaurus dicranius. The rack really gives me like a mule deer feel, and I think it would really work for some kind of a great one variation if they ever do do a mule deer great one. So a mule deer great one, what would that entail for the game? Mule deer are currently in Rancho Del Arroyo, Parque Fernando, and Silver Ridge Peaks. So there's three maps currently that have mule deer in the game. So if they were going to do a mule deer great one, I would think that they would probably bring a fourth map. That's kind of what they've been doing. That's what they did with the last new great one was it was a new map that also had a brand new great one on that map. I feel like that's a really good way to do it. Generates a ton of hype. The community loves it and it gets people really out there on that new map, whether they're grinding or hunting. It just gives a lot of different options. So I do think that we probably would see another mule deer map. Now, unfortunately, that does mean another North American map. But what we don't have in Call of the Wild currently is a true Canada map. We do have Leighton Lakes, but that is really kind of Washington, kind of right at the border. And I think what we could do for another mule deer map would be Canada. Finally do, you know, a true Canada map. I would do British Columbia, which is where I live. I would love to see Blacktail on another map as well as Roosevelt Elk. And Canada is the perfect opportunity for that. So hopefully, you know, if we are getting a Canada map, that's a very, very good opportunity for a great one mule deer in the Hunter Call of the Wild. Now, as cool as the Euclidosaurus uh, idea is, mule deer for a great one would be awesome for a lot of different reasons. Not only because we could do a Euclidosaurus, a uh, great one variation, but also because non-typical mule deer are absolutely breathtaking. Probably one of my favorites across all of the deer species. Non-typical mule deer are absolutely incredible looking. And I just think, you know, some of the variations that they could do for mule deer, it would be so popular. People would just absolutely love it. It would give us a second great one species over on Silver Ridge Peaks, which I think would be really good for that map. And I just think overall, people would be super happy to see a great one mule deer in the game. But yeah, that's pretty much it for me, you guys. Mule deer, great one. Is that your top pick? I know for some of you guys, it is your top pick. If it did turn out that mule deer were the next great one, what would you guys like to see for some variations? What map would you grind? What new map would you like to see? If there was going to be a new map with mule deer on it to accommodate the great one mule deer, what map would you guys want to see? Would it be Canada or would it be somewhere else? Let me know down below in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like on it. Please do subscribe to the second channel. I really do appreciate that. And I hope to see you guys over there for some streams. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. We're on the road to 60,000 subscribers. I appreciate you guys watching. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one.